Hello once again everybody, welcome back to Derail Valley. This is the DM6, no, DM3, <laughs> not 6. It's got 6 wheels, but 3 axles. Anyway, um, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be using this thing for the first time. Um, hopefully it'll give us a tutorial when we get in it, because this thing has gears and all sorts of other complicated stuff, so that's going to be really interesting. So we're currently at the farm. I've been hopping all over the map using the fast travel feature just to find one of these things. <laughs> and yeah, we're at the farm, but the farm doesn't have many, uh, many jobs. Uh, most of them go to the food factory or bo both of the freight hall goes to the food factory. One of them is a little bit bigger than that thing can handle. This one here is a little bit under so that this one here should be just about right so anyway we'll see we'll hop in and we'll see if it gives us a tutorial yes it does awesome because um i have no idea where anything is in this thing <laughs> well there's the handbrake ah oh, anyway yeah electrics so that's your main electric breaker starter dash light put the cab light on as well there we are. So that's your wipers. Wipers one, wipers two. Um. Okay. So if you flip wipers two, it'll keep going, will it? That's a really weird way of doing that. Really weird way of doing that. Oh, I see. I see. All right. So if you just do that, that's medium intensity okay that's still a bit weird but there we are uh lights front is it front lights type headlights or tail lights yeah, what <laughs> light type headlights or tail lights oh right right f and r f and r right i've got you so what we've done is we've just turned all the lights on. <laughs> is that what we've done? I believe so. Start the engine. Main reservoir brake pressure. That might take a while to go up. See our brake pipe thing is flashing there. That'll be because we've still got the handbrake on. So that's your throttle. Yeah, 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 I know, I know. Engine brake, reverse, uh, normal brake, and then you've got your two gearboxes. Yep, indeed. That's your individual brake. Okay, where's our train brake then? Uh, 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 red needle on gauge, pressure in the vehicle's brake cylinder. So right, that's fine. Non-red needle shows the brake pressure and brake pipe through the entire train. Will he disengage the handbrake? All right, there we go. Uh, gearbox A. Oh, we're moving. I don't particularly want to move. I don't want to move yet. <laughs> so control just the transmission ratio. That's the sander. Fine. Gently apply throttle. There we are. That indicates wheel slip. Yes, but I don't want to go. I don't want to go yet. <laughs> yeah, I got the sander. I don't want to do any of this. I don't want to leave the station. Look for the wheel slip. Okay, right, that's fine. 
disengage the soft wall. Shows the vehicle speed. Oh, that's the train brake. Right. Yeah, that's fine. Neutral. Handbrake. And that's your fuel cutoff. <laughs> right, so that's your dynamic brake. Interesting. And you got your horn. Wait, join. There we go. It does work when the engine's not running. And you got fuel. Oil's up there. Sand is there. They, they, they really. Why didn't you put the oil down here where you've got oil temperature? Right, and all your engine y stuff. Right? <laughs> And that's the vehicle tutorial done. Okay, right, I've got a vague idea of what to do. <laughs> a very, very vague idea of what to do. Anyway, let's go back to the station and pick up the job. We're not going to do anything to take... Um, to make things quicker. Just dump that in. Stash it. Bring it out. There we are. So we're looking for... Pigs, cows, and wheat to the food factory. That's at B6. Thankfully, it shouldn't take long to find. It's actually, this one here, I think. Is it this one here? Seventy-six. Yes, it is. Awesome. <laughs> Awesome, so we're not actually far away from it. Um, question is, which way will we actually be going? Because it looks like we're going to be reversing. If we're going to the food factory that way. If we go... If we go this way, past the steel mill, all the way up here, we can go in that way and still go forwards. So I think that's going to be a much better solution. Um, I've... Really need to put that down somewhere, I think. Just there next to the engine brake. Because there's really nowhere to put it here. Could possibly put it there, but I don't see why I would. Anyway, um, let's get this started again, shall we? That's a starter. That's a starter. Oh, right, right. Yes, yes, of course. That turns the thing on. That actually does the work. <laughs> Oh, dearie me. Right, let's see. Um, what does that one actually do? That's put those lights on? Right. Presumably that one then will put the red light on at the back. No, it didn't. <laughs> um... I'm still not entirely sure. I'm still not entirely sure what all these switches do. At least that one's red at the back now. Oh, that'll do. That'll do. Um, so that release that brake. That brake's released. That brake is released. We need to go forwards. At least we're starting to move. I think we're in the low gears. No idea. Am I wheeling? Why did the front end of that just go up? I'm sure the front of that just went up like in a wheelie. <laughs> oh dear, this is going to take some time as well, isn't it? goes. Just reverse onto that now then. So yeah, that's your independent brake. That's all we need, really, for this. This thing is definitely more powerful than the other one we, that we've been using up till now, but boy, is it more complicated. 
too much. Do not need too much. It really does. It's it doesn't coast. You back off the throttle, uh, like in a car. It really does. So give you a bit of uh, engine brake. Just put it on one notch. That should be enough for now. <laughs> yeah. It's just like in a car, you come off the accelerator completely, you get the engine braking effect. So, a little bit more. At least you're right at the back here. You know, you're right at the back, you can see exactly how far you've got to go. That's perfectly fine, we're doing a decent speed. And clonk. So, pop the brake on. Pop down and hook up. So, once again, pop that on there, give it a spin. Close in. And attach the brakes. And just make sure that the handbrake's off. Where is the handbrake? Or is it at the end of the thing? Right. It's not at the end of this one. Because that one's there. That one's off. So it's going to be at the other end, isn't it? It will be at the other end. Yeah, there we go. It's weird the way it's kind of hopping, but there we go. Hop in there, let's see. Any flashy lights? No, there's no flashy lights. Lovely. So we're going to put the train brake on a bit. Remove the independent brake. Just to make sure that we're in the right place. We're in... A, I assume that's gear one. Let's get the... Uh, let's get the keyboard controls up. No, it's not keyboard controls. <laughs> no, it's not keyboard controls at all, is it? That's keyboard controls, right. So, <clears throat> there's our gearboxes, right? Okay, cool. So you're up like that. Should be okay. Let's just give it one notch. <laughs> oh, we still got the brakes on. Of course we do. Of course we still got the brakes on. <laughs> it's taken a while to come off. That's perfectly fine. It's a long train. There's a, there's a lot of pressure in those pipes. So there we go. So I read somewhere that the first gear is somewhere like 17 miles an hour. I think it's two one you do rather than one and two. Is that it? Or is it that way? <laughs> I really don't know. I really don't know. I should probably read the uh the wiki uh, we're right at the top of the taco there. Listen to the engine. Yeah, it's, it's definitely one and then one and two, and then two and one. Come on, get that power down. Switch over to two two. My god, this is involved. This is really involved. <laughs> oh, it's bad enough in a car when you've only got one gearbox, let alone two. See that 
the tachometer is high, right? So he should back off. I think it's 2-3 now. Go, we're going faster. Listening to the engine. The oil temperature's going up quite quick, though. Ah, oh, dearie me. This is going to be interesting. <laughs> so, we, where are we? Are we here? There we are, yes. <laughs> Only just leaving. Once we get some momentum up, it'll be fine. Once you get some momentum up, it'll be perfectly fine. Yeah, that's the oil temperature warning. At least I'm not wheel slipping. Ah, oh, dearie me. Now we just got to get through the, the steel mill, and I think we'll be okay. Can't see anything out the back now. <laughs> There's nothing to look at. Right. So if I back that off and then swap these round. Ah, no, that's the one you want first. You want the three and the two first, I think. Well, the temperature's going down. Our speed is going down. Yeah, unfortunately, the uh, taco is, like, right there, so... This thing's very chuggy. Very chuggy. What is it? Really wants it. Really wants the RPM high, doesn't it? It really does. Just making sure the brakes are off. <laughs> oh dear! I'm gonna have to change down again. You can do it. <laughs> oh my god. But, you know, we're making progress. That's the oil temperature. Yeah, we're making progress, which is more than can be said for the... Um, uh, what was it? <laughs> Trying to do that job with the single... Um, was it DE2? single DE2 just did not have the power at all. At least this thing apparently has power. Right, so back off. Go up one. Pop the throttle back on again. RPM increasing. Not showing an awful lot of change in speed on the speedo, though. I think there would be, wouldn't you? Anyway, what's it? Uh, no, not that one. That's what you want. Move the first. Move A into three before you do B. Yeah. We're getting the hang of it. Increasing speed, that's fine. We've got enough room to play with on the taco. Yeah, we're doing good. Apart from the fact that we've got some hot oil. Eee, right. So, yeah, it's pretty much just keep going. And of course, remember that that thing there is where we started for the tutorial. So we're going to have to make sure that that set of points is set properly. There we go. Start to pick up some good speed now. Time to change gear. Into two and three. Yeah, there we are. Plenty of room on there. 
Increasing speed slowly there. Yeah, I don't think I'd want to pull more weight than this. I really don't. <laughs> A nice weight to spend 30 grand, but uh, I think I would have preferred the other one. So those points are set fine. There's our little tutorial hut. Don't need to go back in there again. 70. I didn't see which way it was going, though. Hmm. Increasing speed very nicely. Our RPMs are going up. So, top gear, I think. Probably don't need to be in top gear, to be honest. We'll leave it in top gear because that's like the right sort of speed we're doing. It's all looking lovely. RPM is just about where we want it to be. Speedo is going down a little, but that's fine. We're on the flat. 80, we could do, go a bit faster, but no, I think we're fine. I think we're fine. Right, so having a look at the map, we appear to be making some really, really good progress. It's not taken us long at all to get from here up to here. And just here to there might be another ten minutes. <laughs> this thing is absolutely bombing along now. It really is. It took a while to get going and to figure out the gears. But I reckon we've done it. Again, it's a case of listening to the engine revs and using that to figure out which gear you really need to be in before you apply the power again. Just like you would in a car. At least if you drive a manual transmission, like most people in Britain do. I think most people in Europe do as well. But right now I drive an electric car, so that's not got any kind of transmission at all. <laughs> yeah, no gears, just straight. Coming up to a curve over a bridge, then a fairly 90 degree curve, and then look at this. Lovely. Look, we can open the window. Yeah, that, that, that's noisy. Let's not do that. <laughs> fairly quick. We're doing 60. That's fine. Not sure I'd want to do much more than that anyway. Just trying to keep an eye around the corner. I think we should probably slow down a bit now. I'll come off the throttle. Keep an eye on the speed. Yeah, speed's dropping. That's exactly what we want. Pop a bit of brake on. And that, of course, is facing the wrong direction. So we need to so we change the gear until the engine sounds like it's in the right sort of place. <laughs> wow, we slowed down a hell of a lot there. We really did. We really did slow down quite a lot. <laughs> uh, I think maybe a touch of engine brake would have helped there. Well, then, might We've got another junction to go, as long as we stay left, and then stay left again, we'll be perfectly fine. So that's pretty much it for the power on there. Is it 3-2 or 2-3 that was better? I don't know. Ah. <laughs> uh. I'm going to have to remember that. I think it's 3-2 and then 2-3. And then 3-3. See, it didn't cover that at all in the tutorial. 
I thought it would tell me the sequence. But uh, I had to figure that out myself. So this one's going left as well. That's good. We're approaching the top end of where we need to shift with this. Let's do it now. Pop the throttle back on again. It's the speed limit is 60. It's relatively flat. So that's lovely. And then we'll head off down that way. The tractor is not far away. Okay, so we're, we're kind of struggling on this bit now. Um, I keep getting that thing warning me about all temperatures. Uh, we keep kind of slowing down. I mean, I'm in 2-2 right now, full throttle. And I'm not really... I'm in the ideal rev range, but I'm not really accelerating at all. So, th this... We must be on some sort of hill. At least some kind of incline. It looks like it is. Up to there and then back down the other side. Because that's where we had trouble last time. Uh, back over there. I can open the door. <laughs> I don't think I really want to. Um, yeah, we're definitely slowing down. Definitely slowing down. I'm going to have to change down again. More power! <laughs> it's really tricky. It's really, really tricky. Nothing else is giving me any kind of warning whatsoever. I don't really need the cab light on, to be honest. There we are. It's still kind of dark in here, though, even though it's daytime. Hmm. Anyway. Ah, oh, this is definitely trickier to operate. Good on good on flat land. Not so good on the hills. I mean it's alright on some hills. Um I definitely think that we're the Um I definitely think this is about the limit of performance. Um we're not slowing down. We're not heating up anymore. Revs are stable. We're, we're, we're just chugging. We're just chugging away at a constant speed. Which means we'll get there eventually. <laughs> I'm not too bothered. Uh, fuel is looking perfectly fine. I don't know what that audio was then. Uh, but there we are. Anyway, we're coming up to the junction just around this bend yeah just around the bend there's the junction and then it's downhill to the food factory so yes we're going to have to be kind of careful once we reach the top of this hill <laughs> yeah just over there is where we had trouble last time can't really see it because the wind's in the way but uh, yeah it's just down there just down there is a little bit of a problem. We start to gain a bit of speed yet. No, it's still going. I'll just hop outside and see if there is any kind of... Yeah, there, yeah, there, there is a... There's definitely a... an incline. You can kind of get a feel for that when you look at the side of the thing. It's not much when you look at it like that, but for a train, that is quite an incline. No problem at all in a car, or on foot, or on a bike, but in a train... Still hovering around 15 k that kph. Oh, we are we are slowing down a bit now, though. Yeah, the revs going down to compensate. All temperatures going up again. <laughs> Go 
good. That's all. It's all the right way around because this is where we came before. And it doesn't really matter anyway because it's a 30k speed limit. Look, we're flat now. So we should start to uh, should start to gain speed once the rest of the train reaches the summit. Yeah, I can hear it. We're going to change up. There we go. That's better. <laughs> so, yeah, this is a rather steep descent. So I'm really going to have to... Um, I'm really going to have to keep my eye on things. Yeah, see the RPM climbing again. Let's, um, it's a 3-2 and then a 2-3. There we go, loads of speed coming on. So we should probably back off the throttle now. We'll leave it there, though, in that gear, because that's where the the revs want to be. No, that's not. No, I want that one and that one. I'll put the engine braking on. Is that helping at all? Can't tell if it is or not. Full engine brake. I don't know, it's holding it there. Smidgen of actual brake then, perhaps. There we go. It really does take a while. Look at that. It's going to bring us to a complete stop. I've undone that. That should be dropping quicker than that. <laughs> oh dearie me I mean the brakes are good that slowed me down really quickly much quicker than I was expecting actually anyway speedo is climbing because I put one click on like that and it was there for a while and nothing really happened See, there's, there's nothing going on there. Even though I've put one clicker brake on. Put another clicker brake on, then something happens. But it's too much. Oh. Is it a lapping brake? God, I hate lapping brakes. Is that just going to hold that there, then? Hmm. Interesting. Anyway, we should probably start to figure out where exactly we're going. Um, so, we're looking for C6. Once again, food factory. So, that's straight in. We're coming in from the northeast. So, it's straight in. So, it's a left and then a right. And then from the northeast. It's pretty much straight ahead. And then a little bit to the right. So that shouldn't be too bad. Let's, um, so you apply a bit of brake. Hold it. You can hear that we're slowing down. Because we're pretty close now. So what was it? It was more or less straight in, right? Yeah, straight in. <laughs> I always get the lever the wrong way around first. So that's perfectly fine. And then we stay right, that's it.
coming in at this speed is perfectly fine. Yes, it's going to be that empty one there, isn't it? So that's fine, that's fine. So it's just... Almost at it. That Just that one to change. Lovely. Well, this has been an interesting trip. <laughs> Definitely some problems with the gears. But there we are. Or maybe... I think that's the one we need for this kind of speed, right? Or is it that one? I think it's more like that one. So anyway, we've got the brake off. Could do with a bit of power. Oh no, that's right. It said it wanted about 700, didn't it? Yeah. It said it wanted about 700 RPM. That's fine. We're doing perfectly fine. Got 15 kilometers an hour, so that's perfectly fine. <laughs> you can't see down the side of the, the train at all. I could just hop out and have a quick look. There we are. It's looking fine. No problems there. Just got to keep going. I'm not sure why. All this like scrap metal and cars are here at the food factory. But there we are. So I should probably change down again. <laughs> just keep the speed on. Just until we get to the end here. Come on. Just a bit further. Just a bit further. Oh, I'm sure that'll be fine now. I'm sure that'll be fine. Let's pop the brakes on. I'm sure that does. I'm, I'm sure it's a case of apply like yeah, there we go. See, uh, apply, hold, and then release. I'm sure that's how that works. Anyway, here we are. We can cut the fuel off and shut down. That's all fine. Then hop out and disconnect, and we're done. So... Oh, that's right. The handbrake's on the other end of this one. We can just use this. We can use this one. It's fine. There we are. Crouchy, crouchy. Remember, do the brake pipe first, because that's the one that doesn't take the load. <laughs> so if you did that, one might slide and then forcibly disconnect the brake hose. That wouldn't be good. What are we doing in here? Oh yes. Put the handbrake on here as well. And then head off to the... Uh, let's get a bit of a high vantage point, shall we? Where is it? There it is. Look. See? Look for the little flashy green light. I wish I'd known that earlier. I wish I'd known that a lot earlier. Because that makes it so much easier to find the, sh the station office. Really does. <laughs> anyway, here we are. Validate. Take it. Oh, look at that. 34,000 for that one. No damage. No damage. Lovely. Now, that in. Take our money. Put that away. We're at 69,000. Let's see what the fees are like. Ah, two grand. That's not bad. 
That's not bad at all. Not bad at all. Ugh. I'm pretty sure using the other one um, was quite a bit more than that. So, yeah, maybe it is better to use that thing. It's uh, <laughs> it's cheaper, it's more powerful, but wow, is it more complicated. Anyway, I've had fun. Thanks very much for watching. If you've enjoyed this, remember to subscribe, and I'll see you all next time. Goodbye.